Hello everybody. Actually, at the very beginning, I just wanted to find some proper information about Totaku. To my surprise, what I have found on YouTube were more or less unpacking videos of a different qualities and some older videos from 2018 but I was severely missing anything for a good organized collector. That's why I have decided to do it by myself. What is Totaku? Totakus are small figurines, approximately of a palm size, that are from different games and they are on a plus type or cross type pedestal and this one has Totaku written on the bottom together with the date of release and what I guess is quantity released big six digit number so Totaku comes in a packaging something like this or new packaging, something like this. Once the packaging is opened, you get a background stand, which can create a nice tiny diorama in which you can put your totaku and then put it on the shelf or just put it on the shelf as is or leave it in the packaging so this diorama always has the name of the character and then the number under which it was released so there are several differences that are important especially for those that decided to collect them all in packaging. First of all, number one, Sack Boy from Little Big Planet has two types of packaging. Pink is for Europe and I think Australia, and blue is for North America. Other than that, as you can see inside, they have the same background. So once they are unpacked, you don't really know which one is from which. Now, you can also see the differences between North American release and European release. So North American release has languages, which is in this case English and French, while European release has languages English, French, Italian, German, Spanish. Also on the corner you can either see or not see first edition. If it is first edition, so this one was originally released and this one was additionally produced because there was demand, so you don't see their first edition anymore. Now, next one is Bloodborne. And as you can see, Bloodborne can be packed in standard position or in reverse position. This was to celebrate how originally was it released on the game packaging. And this one is the standard position. This is the rare version because only approximately one of five or one of four, or one of five were packed and shipped out like this. So again, one of my Bloodborne is not first edition and also one is from Europe and one is from North America. You can also see the differences on the bottom. This is European, this is how they look like. And this is North American and how they look like. So, 
Moving on. Gears of War, Marcus Phoenix. This one has also two versions. At the first look, they seem hardly visible, but on a closer look, there is a rare version which has blood on his bayonet. To make it clear, this part would be bloody, not just clear silver, but there would be a like a splatter of blood, splatter of red, red color. And this is how they look like. Rare version and standard version. And this is actually also for those that want to collect them all as a loose, that good suggestion is to have both Marcuses because this will still be visible even if it is unpacked. A part of that, there were five different bigger packaging released. They look like this. They are bigger than the standard one, as you can see, because the standard one is actually inside the box. You can see it inside. And they are to celebrate certain games. So those five were Lara Croft, Shadow of Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, Spire, then Hitman, then Battlefield, Soviet, and then lastly Kratos from God of War. So from these also Battlefield 5, bigger box, is the one that was apparently only released in North America because I could not find it anywhere in Europe while God of War big packaging that is also called North God edition was only released in Europe maybe Australia but so far I know for Europe sometimes it was even released with the game itself and sometimes just an, as an alone standing packaging you can also see that just like the smaller ones, there, is, there was again writing about the game and when it was released. So now the latest batch, which was Mega Man and Space Invaders, was released in a change packaging. As you can see, before the packaging is of a style in which you can get practically all amiibos almost all amiibos and now the style is without the portion that allows it to hang also the description of the game and some kind of game history is completely missing I would guess that it's in order to facilitate for international collectors and additionally as you can see here and here are easily openings so you can remove your totaku now from the packaging safely you can keep the packaging on the side and you can display it and later on you can pack it back inside for example if you are moving or for whatever reason you want to protect it again so this was actually improvement additionally it takes a lot less space for comparison, you can see just how the old Totaku packaging is overlapping and how all this as a collector you need to put somewhere, otherwise you will get damages on the packaging just like what you see here. So that's kind of way like empty that space, while here there is no overlapping space, so you can put box, side, box, side, box. Okay, down in the description, I will leave link to the official Totaku webpage so that you can check what everything was released so far and how it looks and when it was released. And I also hope that you like this video and I hope that you will comment and maybe 
add some more information that you may have. So I hope you like this video and see you next time when I will try to go through all rumors and confirmed future Totakus and the possible release dates. Stay happy, stay sound, stay healthy. See you next time.